Hello and welcome to this painting tutorial. Today I am going to show you how I paint Gothmog, both mounted and on foot, for the Middle Earth Strategy Bell game. I have already cleaned the model and undercoated it black with the senatal highlight of a grey sear. I just used a spray can for this, but you can also use an airbrush if you have one. The first thing I paint is the fur of the warg using Agaro's Dunes Contrast. This is applied all over the warg except the inside of the mouth and teeth. Gothmog also has a fur on his back, so I just hit it with the same color. Next I'm using Blood Angel's Red Contrast. This is used on the majority of the cloth. The rest of my mortar army has red as their army color, so Gothmog should be painted in the same way to match the army. This is the final miniature I'm painting for the Battle of Oskiliath starter set. I have not decided what my next project will be, so feel free to leave a comment with ideas on what I can do next. Now that the fur has dried, I use Garrick Sur Contrast to paint in a darker area of fur on the top of the work. Works come in many different colors, and I decided that this one would have a sort of hyena look. I'm happy with how it turned out. I then use Wildwood Contrast to paint on the straps on the Warg's harness and all other belts. Gothmog has a part of his cloth that is a kind of leather, so this also gets the Wildwood treatment along with the grip of his club. Did you know that Gothmog was the name of a very powerful Balrog in the first age of Middle-earth? I don't know if this is who Gothmog is named after or if this reflects his ruthlessness, but I think it's pretty cool. The next color is Volopus Pink Contrast. This is only used in the mouth of the warg. It is important to hit the entire mouth, including the teeth, as this will create a nice effect later when they are painted. Get ready for a long step. Paint in all metal details with lead belcher. This includes his armor, shield, weapon and some clasps on the straps of the warg. Make sure that you use some water in the paint so that it flows better onto the model. Metal colors has a tendency to clutter a bit if it's getting too dry. Skeleton Horde contrast was used to paint in the skin of Gothmog. In the movies he has a really nasty skin color, so this is what we are trying to replicate here. The claws and teeth of the warg is painted using sandry dust. Make sure that you are not painting too far towards the base of the claws and teeth, so that you get a nice shading effect. When you do this correctly, it looks like the gums are showing through the teeth of the warg. Magic time! 
Apply Agrax Earth Shade over the entire model. This will bring the colors together by creating depth and dimension. While this is drying, I usually get a jump start on the base. I'm just doing the same as with the rest of my army, so I start with Sterling Mud Texture Paints and I'm applying it from the center of the base and outward. Make sure that the shade has completely dried before the next step. I then use Screaming Skull to do a light dry brush on the fur of the warg. This brings the darker and lighter colors on the fur together and makes it more realistic. Some areas are harder to hit without messing up the rest of the model, so I use a smaller brush on these areas. Continuing on the base, I do a heavy dry brush of Karak Stone. Followed by a lighter dry brush of Wraith Bone. Then move back to Screaming Skull to finish the teeth and claws, hitting an even smaller area than before. Rhinox hide was used for the first highlights of the leather parts. followed by a second highlight of Mornfang Brown. The red cloth were highlighted with corn red. Wasdaka Red for the second highlight. Karak Stone was used to highlight the skin areas. was highlighted using Lead Belcher. This is the same color as we painted the metal with to begin with, but the shade has darkened it quite a bit, so it will be sufficient to not go any lighter than this. Additionally, the armor of the orcs is not the most flashy in Middle Earth. You can highlight in any way that you want. I like the effect you get by creating little streaks on the armor plates.
make the skin a little more twisted, I used some Reichland Flesh Shade. For the finishing touches, I took some grass tufts and put them onto the base. Painted the eyes of the warg black. Painted the rim of the base black. painted a little white dot in the eyes of the warg. And here we have the miniature done, ready to bring the good forces to their knees. This is it for now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this. By subscribing, you'll stay up to date with our latest videos and be a part of our growing community. We appreciate your support and it encourages us to create more valuable content. So go ahead, hit the like and subscribe buttons and we'll see you in the next video.